Hi, very different Grojo today, very different. It's a nasty old day outside, very dull. So I'm gonna show you how I make some of the ornaments for my pond. It may seem very strange, but what I need is a soldering iron, which I have one here. Nothing expensive, never go for the great pricey ones, and they break anyway. Some cheap electrical solder. This is cord solder, right? I've got a mat down here, but if you've got a piece of board, that's fine. Okay, now one thing to remember, soldering irons get very hot. So, just be careful with them. Don't need gloves, but what you do need to do is stop yourself from getting burned. Now, what I wanted to do with this, I'm gonna make a damselfly. And a damselfly is like a tiny dragonfly. Now, I make mine out of electrical flex, any old lengths that you're throwing away. Strip out the copper, which is on the inside. There you go. So you've got a bit of copper wire, all sorts of grades of it. You only want odds and odds and ends. So once you've got your piece of copper, then you can bend your copper. What I'm doing first is the wings. So bend it so it's roughly a heart shape and then it turns in and touches the copper at the back. So you end up with something looking a little bit like that. Now the nice thing about copper is it's very malleable. It's very much that you can fiddle around with it and fiddle around with it till you get it right. Then take your soldering iron and warm your copper up. The bigger the piece of copper, the longer it takes to warm. Just get it nice and hot. It holds on to its heat a little bit. And then... Just melt your solder on your soldering iron. And it should, if you're lucky, flow right down and join the two pieces together. There. Let it cool for a minute. And then you fix your copper. See? Nice and easy. Now I'm going to want another one of them. For the other wing but I'm going to do them in a minute so rather than bore you with lots and lots of bits and pieces all the same now the thing about dragonfly wings is they're more full of veins this looks a bit not good as a dragonfly wing so what I'm going to do is cut little bits of copper now it cuts very easily but this is the fiddly bit and this is the bit where you can have some fun and take your time. Now, there's veins all over the place. <coughs> so again, warm your piece of copper up with your soldering iron. When you're happy, drop your solder on it. Try not to breathe it in, because it stinks. There. Then you can get another tiny bit of copper. There's a little off cut there. And I'm going to put that in a bit in between it. Oops, this is the bit that's difficult because you tend to move everything. So you've got to have a light touch, really. There you go. Now I'm going to carry on here, getting my bits of copper Joining it all together. Don't take you very long. There you go. Good on the other way. Now, as you can see, it's coming on nicely. Got little bits of copper there, little bits of copper here. So keep on cutting them off. You don't need any pink posh. An ordinary pair of pliers will cut your bits of copper off for you. Even a good pair of secateurs will cut copper. It's not rocket science, this isn't. And then I'm going to put another one in there. So all I have to do is warm it up with the tip of the soldering iron. And then just drop some solder on top.
And I've over-soldered a bit there, so I'm going to melt some off. Because I don't want it all to be soldered. However, it looks pretty good as it is. It's always a bit more nerve-wracking when you're being watched. Especially if you're watching yourself. Do, 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 do. Rather than waste your time, you can see what I'm doing. I'm going across now, I'm putting lots of little bits of solder and lots of little, and I'll work my way across there until it's a fine net. Very random, very here, there and everywhere. And um, then I'll fill in both wings. Then I'll make a second wing, because damselflies have four wings, so It'll need to look quite good. I'm conscious now that I'm using rather a lot of time to do this. <coughs> so the two wings will go on top of each other. And then I'll make a body out of it. And here is one rather than simply of a dragonfly. Have a bit of copper pipe. Yeah. Now I'll put these over there. You know, to get the patina, the verdigris patina, what you want is some flux. Plumber's flux, and you just rub it on. Doesn't change colour, and then the next day it will start to show up green. And that's what I shall do with these. I shall cover them in plumber's flux and just leave them outside, and then there will be this wonderful green colour. Um, this is just made out of a bit of copper pipe. Again, wire. Um, I was experimenting with this one, so it's not quite so good. And I also used it as teaching in one of my classes. Anyway. How much you need to spend? 10, 12 quid for soldering iron, probably even cheaper. Solder, a couple of quid. Flux, a couple of quid. And that's it. No more. Oh, and your bits of wire, well, you don't buy them. You find them, there are odds and ends. And uh, you just strip the plastic off. It's quite easy to do. All I do is bear a little bit of it and then um, put it in the vise, make a nick, and then just pull the plastic off. So. You've got plenty. Anyway, that should keep you occupied for many a happy hour in making these little dragonflies. And who knows, I wouldn't mind seeing some if you ever get pictures of them. But um, just work your way through. You can be neater than me if you like. I would be a lot neater if I took the time. You can get something called a solder sucker, which can suck up the excess solder. I wouldn't bother. Just work your way through and make them. And then, of course, you put them on a wire and then uh, you can hang them over your pond. So they're hovering there in midair. Okay, not for everybody, I know, but I just thought I'd do something different for you. Vince here, today's Grojo, signing out.